everyone, I'm Madeline, a Shan's Child Life volunteer, and today I'm here with Taylor the Turtle, and we have a very important question for you. Have you ever wanted to be a secret spy? Because today's your lucky day. We're going to learn how to make secret messages and use invisible ink with stuff you have at home. Come along. Okay, so step one is to gather all your materials. You'll need a lemon and a little cup for the lemon juice a blank sheet of paper and some Q-tips, a heat source such as a light bulb, and of course your buddy Taylor the turtle. Next, you're gonna take a little bowl with a tiny bit of water and you're gonna add in your lemon juice. Now for the fun part, you're gonna dip your Q-tip into the lemon juice and you're gonna write your message right onto your blank sheet of paper. Okay, so I just finished writing my secret message and you can tell it's not really invisible yet. You have to wait a few minutes to let it completely dry so that your message is totally visible. See you back in a few. Okay, after waiting a few minutes, now you can see that the message is pretty invisible. So what you're gonna get is a little light source, such as a light bulb, turn it on and let it heat up for a few seconds. Now that the light is pretty warm, we're gonna go ahead and run our secret message over the heat source, like so. And you'll just run back and forth for a few seconds. After a few minutes, you'll begin to see little brown marks like this. The light bulb can get pretty hot, so it's important to ask for an adult's help if you need it. These little brown marks are slowly showing the message that you wrote. But the real question is, what are these little brown marks? These little brown marks come from the lemon juice, which has carbon in it. And when the carbon is exposed to heat, it comes into contact with air and then releases this brown coloring that you can see. If I were to do the whole entire thing, it would look a lot like these. Although it takes a lot of patience, sooner or later you'll get letters that appear like this from the little light bulb. Again, the light bulb can get a little bit hot, so please ask a parent or adult or guardian for help. I hope you had fun as Taylor and I explored the science behind invisible ink. Now the real question is, what message are you gonna leave? Are you gonna leave it for yourself? Maybe something you can remember? Or are you gonna leave it for your friends and family? It's completely up to you. I hope you have fun exploring and remember to ask for an adult's assistance if you need it. I hope you join us next time. Thank you.